And welcome everyone to another of our Facebook Lives. Uh, I have an awesome guest with us here today. Uh, she is, her name <laughs> is Esther Bertram, and she is a 21-year um, vegan. She's an author, musical artist, and a vegan entrepreneur. That's right, an entrepreneur who is vegan. Um, so she is going to talk about in uh, uh, her company, um, In Vegans We Trust. Uh, but before we do that, I want to talk about a little bit about the path to getting to that, because uh, like many vegas, vegan business owners, myself included, there were a lot of steps uh, before going into our business. I know a lot of us worked in other businesses that weren't aligned with our, our personal ethics and values and vision for what we wanted. And and look, I, I get that. It's, a, it's hard in a world that is, well, rapidly changing, which is great but um, that isn't, doesn't always have <laughs> vegan options as far as jobs. And sometimes we get stuck in a career path. Uh, I don't mean stuck, that we follow a career path that maybe as we change, no longer aligns with us the way we thought it did. And it can be hard to jump from there into a different path, but it seems like you've done that really well. You've actually done a lot of different things in your life. And uh, let's start out more in the beginning, like you became vegan fairly early in life, uh, where a lot of other people, not until much later in life. What, what caused that transition? And then how did you go about applying that to life in, in your different ways um, from the beginnings? Sure. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jeff. It's great to be here. Um, it started quite early. So when I was 10, I became vegetarian first. And I think I was quite influenced from my father. I lived mainly with my mother and went to him on the holidays. Um, but I've, all my team members know this story too well. <laughs> well, my mum brought me a chicken dinner when I was yeah 10. And something happened. I With imaginary play as a child, I saw the chicken running around in the room just as, as my friend and just some a switch just flicked from one second to another and I said to mum I can't eat my friends because I s saw it then dead on my plate and that was it there was just no turning back and thankfully mum um, was very supportive of that and um, because she could see I was I was already a very determined child when I decided something that was just how it was going to be <laughs> thankfully she embraced that um, and then it was when I was in my early 20s, I became vegan. So it first happened more for a medical reason. So my doctor, Dr. Carl, who was amazing, he told me he thought I had a cheese allergy because I used to eat quite a bit of cheese as a teenager. And he told me, just try it for a little while. And I thought, okay, I have to give up cheese. And back then that was basically what I lived on. I gave it up and after about a month, I it, I remembered the memory of a nice pizza in with the melted cheese and everything, but I brought it close to me and it just, it smelt, to be honest, it smelt rancid and horrible and I there was, again, no turning back. And back then there wasn't much, well, I hadn't been exposed to the bad side of the uh, dairy industry or anything. I started researching and then I couldn't believe what I found out about it. And then because of the animals, it was a clear never turning back decision for me then. And, yeah, so that was 21 years ago now. It was difficult in my 20s because I moved from Australia to Europe and I was a traveling professional musician and back then on tours especially because at home it was fine I loved cooking it's easy to provide all yummy things that you like but on tour particularly it was often difficult um, so this is a very vivid memory being somewhere in the outback of Spain between the city concerts and I didn't speak any Spanish and I was doing the whole uh, charade <laughs> game. <laughs> and uh, I was pretty sure they understood what I meant. 
about having a vegan diet. And then they came out and said vegetarian and it was a salad with bacon rashes. And I was, I, and, and I actually I just couldn't, I didn't eat that day. So there are a few times that were quite hard because when you're touring, you're tired and it's whatever, but I never, I never budged. I never went, I couldn't ever do it anyway, but it was much harder those, those days. I'm so grateful that the trajectory of the world has gone, that now you can have vegan things everywhere if you're traveling. Well, everywhere I seem to go. Yeah, it's, it, it's amazing how much uh, the business community has responded to consumer demand shift. Um, I was, I was always curious as, you know, how that would happen if more and more individuals started making the change and started purchasing, uh, clearly those that were producing vegan products already, uh, those who were vegans and, and, you know, were, were entrepreneurial enough to produce products and things like that, or even those that just happen to have, you know, what are they, what they call accidentally vegan products. <laughs> seeing their sales go up, how they would respond to that. And the response has been phenomenal, mm -hmm. um, both in uh, new investments going into supporting uh, vegan businesses, as well as even some of the top companies in the world, uh, major CGP players, major, major food companies really started to go all in on producing um, plant-based options for people. I think it's a combination of things. I think education and resources are helping that. But I remember back like you, when we went vegan a long time ago, there wasn't the support. There wasn't the relationships. I didn't know anybody who was vegan, not a no. single person. Uh, no. There weren't television shows. There weren't books, hardly. There weren't there wasn't movies. There, there was no internet back back in 1985, but there was really no support system. And I think that's yeah. what's so different about it now, why it's so much easier. Yeah. And why I think it's amazing what you're doing within Vegans We Trust in building part of that community. So talk to me about what got you to start in Vegans We Trust. And I want you to tell that story about how you got some other people to join in with you too as well. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, so for many years, since I've been vegan for so long, I have really wanted to do a vegan business of some kind to combine purpose, passion and profit. So when I was being a traveling musician, I was following my passion. I have been a passion driven person my whole life, actually. And the first step towards this business was, okay, how can I bring veganism, how can I share my love for animals and the planet and health to people? So I spent five years writing a long version of a song, which it was a book really. So I spent five years writing a book called November Fox about a vegan rock star because I thought it's a more creative way to promote veganism without pushing it in people's face and especially for younger people. So it initially started to be for teenagers. It ended up being a self-help book with augmented reality and music components, all the media things. So that was my first iteration of the business in a way. But after that, I, I've, I've been in a thinking process, how can I most effectively bring my skills from media and marketing and love of working with vegan businesses particularly because I feel like they share what I have had for so long, which is you're vegan and you want to do something with your career that's vegan to help other vegans and to support the industry and to help animals. But often the vegan businesses don't really come from a marketing or media or business background sometimes. They just do it out of passion. And I have a deep empathy for that. And so one of the reasons for this coming to being born is because of that need that they have of growing their business. And I thought, how can I bring my media and marketing and community skills with helping small vegan businesses and as, uh, vegans in, in as well, vegan individuals? And I think the biggest power is the power of a network and a power of community and facilitating spaces of mutually beneficial connections. 
So I started working on this uh, a year, or, yeah, the start of last year, um, the planning and then building the site and creating an all-service vegan system that connects vegan individuals with vegan businesses and we have vegan coupon services products events house shares even vegan love so it's a place that vegans can come and have a one-stop shop for all things vegan and i've been used to doing many businesses on my own and when i need specialists i'll hire them and this time I realized I'd kind of given birth to this uh, business baby that was a lot bigger than just I could handle on my own. So earlier this year, I put it out across the vegan networks in, in, in the world. I was looking for four team members and I had a very big uptake from that and had almost 100 applications so it was of amazing vegans I was so blown away that there are just so many fantastic um, vegans who are driven to also do passion purpose and profit so I had a month-long process of interviews and getting to know people and we formed a team we're a team of 18 so we've got little pods around the world we've got England UK um, sorry UK, EU, Americas and Australasia, or we call it Oceania. Some of them might be watching now. Hi, lovely team. You know how much I love you all. They're amazing. They're just, I, and we've been meeting at all kinds of hours because we're meeting around the, the world clock Hello. and it, it, it feels so um, validating to be working alongside people where I don't feel like the alien anymore. I felt like an alien for, I, I might actually still mm. feel like an alien in some ways, but it, it's so wonderful to have such passionate, caring, driven, crazy, fun people to work alongside with and do our part in trying to enrich the vegan um, the vegan life and vegan world of the world world of the world <laughs> it is i'll just say everybody at 6 a.m so i might have a few <laughs> word repeats and um non-coherent yes, and thank you for uh, joining me in a, a live event that is <laughs> a little early for you uh, on the other side of the world but from where i'm at but um no and and it's great to connect with people i mean um uh i I'm in different groups on on social media, obviously, and and work with other groups too, like Plant Built and some other teams, Plant Strong, uh, different uh, vegan groups. That when you really put those minds together, like absolutely, we, I um, uh, Robert Cheek, uh, who's been a, a great leader in the the vegan fitness movement for a long time, put to bed put together, brought together some of the top uh, vegan influencers for a summit. And man, that was such an amazing, empowering experience to have people really making a difference, people doing from all walks of life, from, from raw to vegan to plant-based. Uh, so lots of different philosophies, lots of different aspects, but plugging in in different ways. One uh, talking about cancer, another talking about diabetes, another uh, focused on uh, gluten-free, another focused on the uh, health and nutrition aspects from the scientific studies, another from more of a heartfelt uh, you know, uh, space. So all of these different aspects, I think, are so important. And why I love not only what you're doing, but why it's so exciting to work with so many different people, so many businesses um, and, and individuals doing amazing different things, whether it's products or services, and I like that you, you're creating that type of hub where they can get a lot of that interactive, where you can share ideas, where you can get excited and inspired by what other people are doing and collaborate too. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's and, amazing and exciting time to be living. Yeah. You know, they, they call that uh, think tanks, but I think that in this day and age, we need to call them heart tanks a little bit too as well, uh, <laughs> because true. it is a, a passion for compassion. I think for mm -hmm. most vegans, it, mm -hmm. it is it is a heart-centered start. We do it for the animals to, to yes. end suffering. So um, 
Yeah, that's that's amazing. So what what are some of the connections that you've gone in, like some of the people that you now have the fortunate to work directly with and what that experience has been like bringing minds and hearts together? It's been so far, we've been doing it for two months as a team around about. And it's it's really fascinating because when you have that common denominator of being vegan, I mean, it, it doesn't just go into how you eat. It really, I think, transforms a lot of just how you think. And as you said, heart space, being heart driven, um, that has been like the common base and the foundation of what we're building. And But then having such, like you say, different minds, like I love when we're having team meetings and there's a completely different um, appraisal of a situation that makes you think and for me I love I love being challenged and thinking yes. of something from another angle because I'm a massive believer in being greater than the sum of your parts and it's the same with setting up this vegan system is the more that we can connect we'll have a bigger output than the individual parts and it's the same with the team the more that we can connect and go through ideas and have outputs it'll be a much stronger end result than if you're just doing it on your own and yeah and i i i know that uh, i was fortunate to go uh, work in many different avenues i worked for the largest distributor of natural products in the united states i worked for several brands i worked in the retail environment so i got a lot of different firsthand experience and on-job training in these different fields which really allowed me to launch my own brand with a lot of expertise and experience. That's not true from what I see of a lot of the um, vegan entrepreneurs out there, people who have a passion and a vision, but yes. not so much the how to and the rules exactly. of the game and how to win in business and succeed as a business. Because if you don't make profits, you can't grow a company. And if you can't grow, you can't reach more people. And I think that's the passion that carries us. We want to do more good in the world. You know, we want to be more greater and greater effector of change. So I know you are offering services through this platform yes. too, to help support other businesses through marketing, through sales techniques, through setting up businesses. Talk yep. to people about that because I think that's so important. This is a huge yep. give back that Absolutely. is needed. People who have a great idea but don't know how to turn that into a successful business. Absolutely. So that was one of the benefits of starting with such a big team. So we've, mm -hmm. we're building at the moment a sister site. It's connected to our main membership site and it's called the Marketing Desk, the Vegan Marketing Desk. Right and it's purely for that reason, because we have such a big team and they all are 100% vegan, even in the vetting process of the people, I made sure people have been vegan at least two years. So it's right. not these people that have just recently and they're not sure they'll stay vegan, that everyone is 100% vegan, no turning back. So by having, we have a lot of skills in our team from there's university professors to marketing people with marketing masters to social media experts video everything we have everything covered so we're building this marketing desk so people can basically outsource anything they need so we'll be having various um, monthly packages or ad hoc just as you need things so how that will work is if you have just say a certain amount of budget for your marketing per month instead of needing to hire someone externally who may not be vegan, you can come to us. And the benefit of that is if you were to hire Joe from down the street, just from the marketing agency, who's a non-vegan, you pay them, they might be good at their job, but the money you give Joe, he might on the weekend go and buy a meat barbecue with his, in Australia, probably some sausages for the afternoon Saturday barbecue. In our system, we will be able to perform the same function, but you know that the money is staying within the vegan ecosystem. So our team will buy lentils and rice and probably more things that are on our, on our website. We're all getting tempted by all the products and services that are popping up on our site and reinvesting in these businesses. So you have the benefit of supporting the vegan industry by just shopping more vegan, plus getting the relief of not needing to think as much about those tough marketing things if you don't come from that background. 
because well, it's a, if you don't understand, I mean, how can yeah. you do marketing if you don't understand who the client is, how they yes, think, how they exactly. feel, about what you're well. exactly. you know, I've I've seen marketing that really doesn't uh, uh, um, resonate. Exactly, doesn't doesn't it's like say something like, oh, finally something vegan that tastes good, you know. <laughs> A vegan wouldn't say that because we know all of the <laughs> vegan stuff that tastes good, that tastes yeah. awesome, that tastes incredible. Yeah. It would be only someone who isn't, um, uh, you know, uh, vegan that that you know would exactly. would say something like that. So yeah. having someone who really understands um, the the market and the customer yeah. is yeah. important. And that's within any business. You've got yeah. to understand your customer or, yeah. you know. Um, that's right. Uh, we are your market, so we know exactly. it. Because we know. <laughs> yeah. The other thing we will be doing with the marketing desk and what I'm particularly passionate about, and Mitch, one of our great young team members, reminded me of the importance of this the other day, and we will definitely be doing it in the in the marketing desk, which is, having startup packages. So for people who have been just thinking about having a vegan business, but they have no idea where to start. So they might be a very passionate vegan. They want to combine passion purpose and do something vegan. We'll be able to help you just get started with all those basic things you need to get done. Your website, your logo, your corporate identity, your marketing assets, all those things and business plan, everything you need to get going just to send you on your way. So that I'm really excited about that because I know that, yeah, there are a lot of people out there with great ideas, but they just need that little bit of a help to, to get going, to start growing their vegan businesses. That's awesome. What, is, what has been the feedback? I know the, the site is relatively new, right? Um, what has been the feedback so far from, from people engaging? Yeah, so we haven't officially launched yet. So we've been just working on a launch process. So at the moment, we've been reaching out to businesses as the early adopters. So our strategy is first connecting with vegan businesses, getting them on board now. It's free to join, by the way, if there's any vegan businesses out there who want to join. Getting them on board and also seeing if they want to list a coupon. And there's been really good feedback so far. And once we have a certain amount of coupons and businesses on there, we're launching our campaigns to invite vegan individuals. So there's stuff on the site for them. We already have up towards 500 or so on there um, and we haven't launched yet. So every day it's growing. We haven't even really done social. We've been holding back because we're in the process of redressing the brand, getting ready for the launch. So it's exciting times because it feels like it's already rolling before we've even pressed the start button in a way. We're still, we're, we'll be launching in the next um, weeks, months. And that's, that's exciting. Awesome. So yeah. uh, for all of you that are watching right now, especially if you're a vegan business owner or just somebody who wants to reconnect to the community, um, yeah. it's got great coupons on there. It's got other services. Uh, that she talked about. Um, there's job opportunities. You got a job yeah. listing there too as well. So there's yeah. lots. Go and browse and check it out. Um, lots of stuff to take a look at. It. The link is in the uh, below and we'll post that also uh, after the video is up too so that you can check out and Vegans We Trust. So I know this has been a pretty intense focus for you, um, but uh, what is your life like? It's pretty absorbed in this project right now, right? It is, yeah. That, that's my main thing that I do and love and am passionate about. Um, the, are you wondering what the rest of my life is like beyond that? Well, yeah. I, have, I have 20 minutes of Netflix just before I fall asleep. So, <laughs> um, I'm watching it amazing. Oh, it's a bit daggy to probably admit that, but it's a Korean love story, my love from a star and about this alien. And I think I relate to it very much because he's 400 years old, wise alien Korean boy. And it's a love story. Uh, it's a bit daggy, but it's, yeah. So I see 20 minutes of that just before I go to sleep. <laughs> I bought myself a bicycle. That's I'm really excited about because I've moved to a place where it's really flat around the sea and I'm picking it up in a couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm really excited. It's a beautiful, 
it's a cruiser bike, so it's just for relaxing and um, called Electrolux. And it's right. this nice green colour. So I'm excited that I'll be back into bike. I haven't had a bike for many years. I was a BMX girl um, when I was in the 80s cruising around on my Kuahara. And it's been a few years, but I'm <laughs> looking forward to that chapter returning in adult form. <laughs> Yes, and, and it's uh, good you've got, you've got something to keep you uh, physically fit during the time of COVID. Yeah. Um, I know it's been a challenge for a lot of people, um, but it's also uh, nice that you have a, a business where you can work from home and at the same time work with people all over the world yeah. and, and uh, really accomplish some great things. Yeah. It's exciting. I feel very blessed and I love my team so much. It's just, yeah, and I don't feel lonely anymore. Before having them, in th especially through COVID, when you're just working alone with your computer screen, and now suddenly I've, it's almost like I have a new family of amazing people around the world and we're working on great things and facilitating the growth of little vegan businesses and bigger vegan businesses. So it's, yeah, it's exciting times. Well, thank you so much for everything you're doing. It's such a pleasure. I know we had uh, such an amazing talk when I first uh, connected with you, and I feel so aligned with what you're doing and supportive. No, know that uh, myself and Clean Machine will, will do everything we can to get the word out about what you're doing, because I think the world of both you and, and what your team is doing. I look forward to working with you in the, in the future on maybe many more projects. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you. Well, join us next week. We have a whole host of guests. Check out uh, Facebook uh, online. Uh, you want to tell um, uh, our customers where you can find and get in contact with you or uh, besides In Vegans We Trust, which you can go to InVeganswetrust.com. Uh, but uh, what about social media and uh, Instagram, Facebook? Yep, so all of them are just in Vegans We Trust. Our Instagram is at in Vegans We Trust, same with Facebook and Twitter. And you can find my personal one, it's estherbertram.com. And yeah, it would be lovely to have any listeners on our site as early adopters. And it's exciting times to be growing at the beginning together. Yeah, definitely check it out. It's an amazing website, and I look forward to watching it grow as it becomes more and more popular. And um, and, uh, and thank you so much for coming on, especially so early in the morning for you in uh, Australia. It's uh, a pleasure, and it's nice to know you both as a friend and a fellow vegan entrepreneur. And uh, thank you again for all you're doing in so many different ways for the community. Thank you so much, Jeff. Very lovely. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.